Hi everyone, welcome to Dolls in the Cradle. My name is Anne. It is Friday, and there is a special little teeny tiny one that I want to share with you. Uh, several videos back, I told you that one of my uh, little babies here was super excited because he had a little sister coming. And I say it's his little sister because it's from the same artist that uh, painted him and brought him to life. And so he wanted to introduce his little tiny sister to you. She's absolutely adorable, exactly what I wanted uh, when I saw this baby up on reborns.com from this artist I was like I, I've got to have this baby and so yeah I've had her for a little while a few weeks couple of weeks but you know things got hectic around here my father went to the hospital and even before he went to the hospital there was just a lot happening here health wise in the family that, uh, you know, needed top priority attention. So, but now, now that things are kind of um, coming to a lull a little bit, like a lullaby, fingers crossed we can, you know, be in this little uh, lull place of, of just, you know, where everyone is, is okay, you know. Um, yeah, so... Without further ado, <laughs> oh, I also wanted to do a little tag for this because I'm showing you, you know, this is actually like, it's her non-box opening um, on the channel, but Lisa's Littles also had a short little theme, or a tag, I'm sorry, that she had on her channel or that she has on her channel I'll leave a link to that video in the description below so that you can uh, check out the video I'm talking about uh, but it's uh, five things dreaming of fall five things I love about fall and so I will answer those once I show the details and stuff on little missy so without further ado <laughs> without further ado we're going down below down 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 to the babies yes here they are oh here they are hang on let's see if i can get this uh so you can see them <laughs> So, of course, right here we have Theodore, <laughs> and Theodore now has his own little tiny preemie sister, and he is so happy. I mean, he, he, he ain't no bigger than a biscuit himself, right? Uh, but she's, she's smaller, and wait till you see this cute, cute little face close up, uh, Let's just go there. I'm going to move Theodore. Yes, you have to let go. Bubba, let go of her. I'm going to give her back? Yes. In the meantime, you can just go and, you know, comfort yourself. You know, this is my thumb sucker. He loves to suck his thumb. And he's precious, little boy. But we're going to let him come over here for a while in the crib and visit. Maybe the other ones will keep him company. Let me, you know, this is a great thing to have on the table. Okay. <laughs> so, here we are. <laughs> and I'm going to take off this little hat. <laughs> Look what I did. I just put a rubber band on top of the hat. Uh, <laughs> she's so tiny. She's so tiny and cute. I'm going to take this off. And then I'm going to tell you who she is. Who reborn her? Who sculpted her? She is a tiny little girl. And, you know, I have a little preemie. 
His name is Joseph, uh, with a very serious face and gorgeous eyes. She is not as thick as he is. Oh my gosh, this face. I love the face. Okay. Let me put this over here. I am going to just bring her information over here because, y'all, I am the worst. I forget what sculpt is what, who did what. I am the absolute worst when it comes to that. <sighs> okay. So, this is her Certificate of Authenticity. The kit name is... Oh, no, this is not, <laughs> this is not you, baby, baby girl, that's Magnolia's, that's not yours. Okay, <laughs> we're going to try this again, you see what I'm saying? <sighs> you would think, you would think that I would just have all the COAs together, and I do most of them, but sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't. So here we go. Does anyone know who this little one is? If you don't, I'm getting ready to show you. So this is Denver Rose Awake. She was sculpted by Marita Winters. She's number 89. Uh, the Denver Rose Awake is an original sculpt by the artist Marita Winters, which has been reproduced in this authentic vinyl kit and then if you read it has her website and everything on there I don't know how well y'all see that but yeah so here she is and then this always comes from from Kimberly and Kimberly is reflections of grace on reborns.com um, so, she was born on August the 7th, 2023, so she is quite the tiny little newborn. She is 4 pounds and 12 ounces. She is 18 inches. Um, and I adopted her the day that she was born. <laughs> So yeah, so super cute. I'm going to hold her little face up to the camera so you can see what I fell in love with. Now I'm going to tell you something. I really do like Reflections of Grace. Her babies are very reasonable in price. And she, she displays all of her babies on Reborns.com in just a white onesie. And I love that because it takes away from seeing the pomp that's around the baby, the clothes and everything, and gives you a real feel for just looking at the doll. And anyways, a little white onesie I think is perfect on any little baby at any little time. And I just like that she has the confidence to just put that on there. She doesn't have to dress the baby up in anything and people can appreciate the artwork and really see the doll and see, you know, past the clothes. And I guess that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so are y'all ready to see the face that made me? Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the face. Look at that pretty face. <laughs> she is so stinking cute. She's like, oh. I'm a little worried. She's got one little wrinkle on her forehead, like between her brows. Can y'all see that? And she's like, oh my goodness. I don't know. I, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. All these strange people are looking at me. Yeah, I say all these strange people. All these strange people are looking at you. They love you. Yeah, they do. Oh, she's so sweet, my little little tiny pixie that's what she reminds just a little tiny tiny little pixie baby so her kit name is denver rose and i do like that name actually denver um denver rose 
I don't know if I'm going to keep her name Denver Rose or if I want to change it to a little pixie. <laughs> Just pixie. She's just so cute. Oh, yeah, you guys, look at these toes. This is another thing that just... Um, <laughs> look at her feet. Y'all, look at her little toes splayed open. Let's see if I can show you the right way. Uh, I don't know if I can. But her feet are just like... Ee! Like something was tickling her toes or whatever. She touched something uh, wet and she's like trying to pull her feet up. Just so adorable. You are so cute. Yes, you are. You are. You are so pretty. You are so pretty. She does have hair. Very light hair on her head, which I've actually come to enjoy. Um... I love these little brows. It's just like little worry, little worry brows. Like, oh, that's why I said also, she's definitely, definitely the indoor sister because he looks like he's, he's um, worried about things, but I think she looks even more worried about things. Okay, so I'm going to try to put this outfit on her. Y'all, she's a little itty bitty and I don't have any itty bitty girl clothes. But we are going to put this outfit on her because I've had this outfit and I haven't put it on anyone yet. I'm done with the summer, so you will be seeing my dolls in uh, winter, fall outfits, and you'll see them still in some summer outfits. It just depends. Um, here's the name brand on this. I don't remember where I purchased this from, but I've had it in the drawer for a while. So it's cute. It buttons in the back. And they got a little ruffle here. <laughs> this, the top alone, looks like it's going to look like a dress on her. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to answer um, the question about... Uh, my five favorite things about fall. Number one, I love fall weather. That's one. Number two, I was born like three minutes after midnight on Halloween or something like that. So that makes me a Halloween baby. However, my my actual date of birth is November the 1st, so that's on All Saints Day. So, yeah. So growing up, I love to go trick-or-treating because I always felt it was about me. Because I was, you know, I thought it was about my birthday. So, um... I never really had to have a birthday party per se because um, I was going out getting a ton of candy and then at, at uh, you know, back in the day, I don't know if uh, schools still do it, but we would have these fall little carnival um, at our elementary school and there would always be things like you're sticking your hand in a bucket, you don't know what it is. Also, cake walks. How many of you remember cake walks? So, that bobbing for apples, just a lot of fun um, in that respect. I am going to turn <laughs> this little outfit. Oh my gosh, little baby. Okay, turn over for me just a minute. Let's see if I can get you to look decent without suffocating on me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this looks so cute. So my birthday, you know, I've always had that Halloween-y type of birthday. So, which means, of course, that I've always enjoyed Halloween. I like the spooky of Halloween. I also like the, the cutesy stuff of Halloween. I don't particularly need the gore or anything like that. 
Oh my goodness, my little baby, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh my goodness, the kid. <laughs> you are so precious. You are so precious. Oh, don't be so concerned. It's going to be okay. And I got this little headband here. I thought that would match really cute with her. So another thing that I like about uh, fall is that basically uh, hurricane season is over. And that's important where I live, y'all. <laughs> so that's important where I live. Hurricane season is... Um, past us during the fall, which is, you know, uh, always a wonderful thing. Okay. Now this is a cute little baby girl. That is so cute. I used to really dig just smiling babies and I, I, I still like a, a little grin on my baby. However, I've noticed that I have been enjoying different types of expressions on my little ones lately and <laughs> she definitely she definitely fits that bill for me <laughs> she's so adorable y'all she's so adorable yes you are i don't think i'm gonna cover those feet no if i tickle her right here her little her little feet just her little toes display open um let's see what else what else do I love about fall? I love that the uh, candy cane creamer <laughs> is more prevalent in the stores and you're able to get it for your coffee or your tea. And I much prefer that. I'm not, I don't care about pumpkin spice. Um, I'm not, you know, a huge fan of pumpkin spice, but for me, uh, fall also means sweet potato pies for things like Thanksgiving, which is always amazing. So I guess, yeah, that's it. That's the stuff that I really love about fall. Uh, being able to go outside more because you can't go out and enjoy yourself here where I live in the dead of summer. Not really enjoy yourself. You can tolerate that heat, but for me, it's not enjoyable, so I much prefer to be out when the weather is a little bit crisp. And I guess that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you, Lisa from Lisa Littles, for uh, doing that cute little tag. I hope you guys enjoy little Denver Rose. <laughs> She's so cute. I am so cute. I can't help myself. And I'm a little bit nervous. I'm nervous because this is my first time here. But say, yes, I've been in the cradle. I have. I've been in the cradle. And, uh, yeah. So, got my little cradle right here next to me. We're going to go up a little bit. Because, you know, we go up, we go down, and we go up. And I'm going to show you that we have <laughs> Su Lin wanted to be up here close so that people could see her. And, of course, Dallas. Dallas, can you wave? <laughs> Say hi. Dallas is back because he likes to be in every single video. And I kind of like him sitting here. And then we have little Yuki right here, which you guys haven't really met on my channel yet. I got her, you know, when everything was going on. So I'm going to bring up oh, this tiny... Itty bitty precious. Are you so? Oh my gosh. Hang on, y'all. Let me just. <gasps> I'm in love with her. Look at this baby. So cute. So cute. And I think with a little tiny preemie like this, oh, that have in clothes that are just a little bit big on them, kind of just makes it more realistic. You guys know it's hard to find um, decent preemie clothes for our little ones. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to go. 
uh, for Thankful Friday, which is, I think it's Thankful Friday. I'm hoping I'm getting the right day. But that is at Tater Tots Nursery. I just want to say I'm so very thankful that the medical professionals are put in place and that there are still really good doctors and nurses and radiologists and so on and so forth, nursing assistants that really, really care about patients and really um, are concerned in keeping their comfort and making them as comfortable as possible when they are going through a situation. And I am very, very thankful for that. And I'm gonna go, you guys, um, oh, and for Jay's UK Dolls, uh, this is a new outfit here on Denver Rose. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep that name or not. I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time with her and see kind of what rubs off. And she will tell me what her name is. Um, I never ask anyone what should I name my doll because what I have found out is that they will tell me what their name is eventually. And that is their name. So until next time, everyone, please take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Please remember that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And me and the kitty crew will, um, nope, that didn't sound right because that almost sounded like cradle crew and that is Misty. <laughs> So let me not say that because I was just thinking of my cradle here. Um, uh, me and the little ones uh, will see you in our next video. Bye, everyone.